Teddy Fresh SpongeBob restock on TeddyFresh.com. Out now. But Dex, you were saying you define happiness, you said, by just feeling good. Uh, that's probably not like specific enough, but like, like good. There's like, like a lot of things that go into it, but like good and healthy and yeah. Uh, satisfaction on like that Maslow's pyramid thing. Ah, uh, the pyramid of uh, like shelters at the bottom kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Got it. But you, I guess you feel, at least I learned from through the documentary, that your your income is a little unstable, right? That's kind of maybe the one factor. Yeah, that can really mess with your happiness if, if you're stressed about money all the time. So mm-hmm. fortunately, I haven't, I could have been so stressed with Corona stuff if unemployment didn't come through. And mm-hmm. if I got sick too, so luckily stayed healthy and got that money. And so... Uh, good for the next few months because it paid me more than enough. So I've just been buying food and nothing else. Um, so saved up a little and then we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've had lots of money before and no money at all. And, um, and so yeah, it's more fun to have money. Yeah. I heard that you were, you were paid, you, you were in two movies, uh, 21 Jump Street and and uh, what was the other one called? Project that? X. Project X. And you said you were paid enough that you lived off the money for like five years, right? Yeah. Well, I was also in uh, a few other movies, but those were the big ones that I got paid the most for. Are you? Cu- uh, feel free not to answer, but I'm curious um, if you could ballpark what was your the payment for those projects. You don't have to answer, by the way. Oh, I could tell you whatever. I don't care. Um, so I probably got paid like like 30,000 or 40,000 when I was filming them. And then I didn't know I would get residuals checks. Oh. So uh, a couple years later, I started to get a random residuals check. So that started out really big. Uh, mm. So probably overall, probably like $300,000 from Dude, uh, holy acting crap. in those movies. Yeah. Um, and so still I'll get like a $200 residuals check every once in a while. Mm. Um, so that's cool. Um, um, but yeah, I lived off that for the longest time. That's a lot of money. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, that's that's a lot. Yeah, pays a lot when you can actually get it. But then it's just so hard to get, and right. auditions suck. And mm-hmm. yeah, why is it? It's 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 you've been through such a roller coaster. Yeah, so interesting. Yeah, yeah, highs and lows, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was it? You must ask yourself, how was it that you got cast in these two? really you know successful roles and then suddenly like you were unable to find work i mean why is that do you you must ask yourself i just started to suck at auditions <laughs> like the why? first one was really good because you didn't really have to be a good actor because you're like just like project x that was like a good acclimate act getting acclimated uh be, to acting because uh like you're allowed to just like look at the camera and like film and like um so that was the perfect first role uh, and then 21 Jump Street came like a year later, even though they were released at the same time. Um, and then uh, I got really close on like We Are the Millers. I got like second place. Um, uh, like, and I even went to an audition with Jason Sudeikis. I got really close on this Ryan Gosling movie that he made, um, but I don't think many people saw it. But I did a lot of auditions. And Christina Hendricks was going to play my mom. And then, um, I, and then I, I got close on maybe one other movie, and then I just started to do really, really bad in auditions. Like, I couldn't memorize my lines and mess up mm. all the time. Um, and uh, so then I started writing screenplays. I've written a lot of screenplays because uh, then you just make your own movie, act in your own movie, make a game show. Mm-hmm. You think you got psyched out maybe a little bit from the all the rejection and then started getting getting in your head like why do you think you started messing up the auditions i don't know yeah i don't know well some some of them were good but maybe they just wanted a different person or something but now i just i don't get auditions um but uh i don't really mind because i like making my own videos and stuff and like even made my own documentary 